How do they strike back, obviously? What do you expect in the next 69 days today till the election, no, uh, November 8th? What do you expect to happen? What do you think about the polls? Obviously, internal polling shows Trump ahead in most polls. Uh, even the L.A. Times admits he's a point ahead. They do these fake polls where they do 15% more Democrats than Republicans and Reuters and then say, oh, my gosh, he's got a 12-point lead. That's a three-point deficit. I, I mean, look it into your tea leaves in, a, in like a two- or three-minute synopsis as a you know, general of these wars, General Kenobi, what do you expect them to do next? Well, there's going to be some unexpected wars. There's going to be another terrorist attack. There's going to be possibly even an assassination attack. So they're going to October surprise here. false flags. Yeah, false flags and, uh, you know, manipulating the news. Could they activate their jihadi forces they brought in? Yeah, they could. I mean, they, we could have that. And we could also have, you know, more diversions like um, this Huma Abedin thing with Wiener. I mean, who cares? You know, but again, it's sympathy for Huma Abedin. Stories about sex. The Democrats know that they'll survive sexual scandals. They think they will. You know, I don't think, I think some of the rape stories that Roger Stone has brought forth in his book are very, very damning to the Clintons. But there's going to be a, a false flag manipulation of the news. And I, I caution, you know, the Trump Organization and the Secret Service to be especially vigilant with both candidates. We don't need any political violence in the remainder of this campaign. It would be extremely detrimental to our cause of freedom because the globalists would just use it as another attempt to grab power. That's what's going to happen. Uh, also, fear tactics. You're going to have, you know, the Clinton people trying to, to put Donald Trump as a madman, trying to say he's going to take this away from you, he's going to take that away from you. Don't listen to it. Donald Trump is the last real hope we have to preserve any freedom in this country. And the possibility of losing the First Amendment, the Second Amendment, the Fourth Amendment, you go on with Hillary Clinton, is real. They, there will be no religious freedom, there will be no gun freedom, no Second Amendment.